Hey everybody, I hope that you all had a great week. I wanna take a couple of minutes, give you a quick update about what happened in Washington DC this week. First, I wanna take a few minutes to address the terrorist attacks that Hamas has been conducting on our ally Israel for the last week. Now, many of you might not be aware of this, but after I lost my legs in Afghanistan back in 2010, I went and volunteered a few years later to serve alongside the Israel Defense Forces. Uh, and it is an honor of my life to say that I, I wore two uniforms in my life. I've worn the uniform of the U.S. Army and the uniform of the Israel Defense Forces as well. Um, now, during that period, I learned a lot of things during that time in, in Israel, but probably most importantly is how every single family over there is affected by military service. It's mandatory service over there. And uh, in all likelihood, at some point, some point during that mandatory service, uh, those young men and women are going to have to probably pick up their rifle in defense of Israel, as we're seeing happen right now with the rocket attacks that are being lobbed indiscriminately into the most heavily populated areas. They're not shooting them at military targets. They're just trying to hit the heaviest centers of population to kill the most civilians as, as possible. And this is done year after year. Uh, that is the way that these are done. And they are done by Hamas and Palestinian Islamic Jihad and other terrorist organizations that over the course uh, of the years, have done literally hundreds and hundreds of, uh, of terrorist attacks and rocket attacks. I have pages and pages of stabbings and bus bombings and, and, uh, and bus stop bombings and military checkpoint bombings and mall bombings and restaurant bombings and, and vehicular manslaughter and kidnappings. And this goes on on a year to, to year basis. And as you look at the rocket attacks, most people don't hear about them on a day to day basis. But you could read the, the, the dates on them. You know, six rocket attacks on May 9, five on April 25, two on April 24, 36 on April 23, one on April 15, one on January 20. You don't hear about the days that there's just one or two rockets that, that are lobbed into Israel. But the fact of the matter is that happens all year round and it never makes the news. The perspective I would ask people to look at, imagine if our neighbors uh, of the United States of America were doing this to us. Imagine if Canada, Mexico, some Caribbean nation were on a weekly basis lobbying just one or two, but then every couple of years upping that to three, four, five hundred uh, in a day rockets or mortars or other things uh, into our country, we would go and we would destroy those enemies. They would never rise up again. Um, but this is what's happening on a yearly basis to a country that is not even close to the size of Florida, the United States of America. They're, they're about the size of New Jersey. So a very small country to be receiving all of these attacks. And after seeing this constant bombardment, Israel is yet again uh, under attack from, from Hamas. It's clear that we have to take action. Now, before I move on, let me talk about Hamas just for a quick moment. Hamas in 2006 was elected, elected as the, the leadership in the Palestinian government. So they're not just a terrorist organization. They are an embedded part of that, of that government and the way that they operate. And that's uh, one of the reasons that they're such uh, a dangerous entity. That's why I've been fighting to get Speaker Pelosi and House Foreign Affairs Committee Chair Gregory Meeks to expedite consideration of a bill that I introduced, which actually would sanction financial backers of Hamas, that terrorist organization that's also part of that government. Now, my bill to sanction financial supporters of Hamas, it passed the last Congress unanimously, but it got held up in the Senate. So still, under the control of the new Foreign Affairs Committee Chairman Gregory Meeks, the bill has yet to be sent to, through the legislative process in this Congress. It will have to be sent through that process again. I truly believe it is a dark day in our nation's history when Democrat leadership seemingly sides with Hamas, a terrorist organization, over our ally Israel. On that note, I just want to say this. I hope that you all have a great week ahead, as always. It is an honor to represent you here in Congress, and I hope that you have a great week. Take care.